Ralph. That's Ben. And we're the RV men here at Camping World of Jackson. Live. Yep, coming to you on Facebook. That's right. So today, I think we have a 2020. A 2020 model, um, fresh arrival here at Camping World. Um, it's the Mallard 302. 301. 301. And it is a Camping World exclusive. That's so right. It's only available here at Camping World. That's right. That's right. So, uh, Let's start out up front? Always. All right. All right. Well, guys, first thing you notice is this big, beautiful front fiberglass cap right here. Uh, I like the new color on these Mallards. You get a blue color. I mean, you can see the 2019s here. Stand over there, see the different colors. Um, so this is a completely different model. Um, your two 20-pound propane tanks here. Um, you can get those filled here at Camper World Jackson or easily uh, exchange those at any gas station or wherever you might be. Manual tongue jack, and I like those that you don't have to worry about any power to set up. Now, if you have to have a manual tongue, uh, power tongue jack, you can also upgrade that here at Camping World Jackson. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do that for you with no problem. Um, your Cover. deep cycle marine batteries will mount right here, um, which we will uh, supply one battery with your purchase of the camper. We also fill these propane bottles up. And um, then we have a diamond plate card. Yep, here. diamond plate shoe guard. It's going to protect the camper from any debris. And you'll notice that the, the, the seam on this uh, camper here is over on the side right here. So it's really going to protect your camper from any kinds of debris because that seal is basically what keeps your camper dry. So you don't want right. anything coming up and getting this cap goes all the way up to yep. about a foot past. So mm -hmm. you don't have a curved seam right there. Yep. And then the roof comes over it and it's sealed right there. And this roof is a TPO, right? Yes. Thermoplastic overlay. Yep. 10 year warranty. Yep. Um, it does have a four inch uh, roof uh, from top to bottom. They have two inch walls and two inch floors. One of the thickest in the market. You can literally hear the quality. Um, they are super solid campers. Uh, one of my favorite brands, made by Heartland. Again, a Camper World exclusive. So step over here to the off door side, you're gonna notice one thing, solar panel charge right here. Um, so you can uh, purchase solar panel here at Camper World and set up and it will trickle charge your battery when you're out camping. If you don't have your truck plugged up to the truck or to the power at the campground, you can't have power uh, about up to 12 hours on the batteries we installed without having to do anything. Uh, if you step around here, you're going to notice Ralph uh, wanting to show that pass through off. Now, these are slam locked doors with magnetic holds. If you'll take a look in here, you'll see that this is a fully finished enclosed uh, underbelly. And you'll also see Ben. Yep. Uh, over there by Ben where his hands are, we have the landing gear controls for the uh, power stabilizing jacks. Easy up, easy down. And then if you notice, there's plenty of lighting in here for this little thing is plugged in. We can hit the little tap it lights yep. there. And again, the when this thing is built, the vinyl is laid from beginning to end yep. and the walls are built on top of it. So this thing has a, a vinyl covering inside of it. Yep. You also have the grill that comes with the unit and your quick connect propane uh, connection right there and your 50 amp cord for the coach. So that, uh, that's all complimentary uh, just for doing business here at Camping World. So I'm gonna meet y'all around the other side. All right, over here we have our outdoor shower. That is great for if you have go to the beach or you're at the lake and your puppy dog or your kids get all dirty and you need to hold stuff off. And then we have our city water connection. We have a black tank flush, which is great. So that way you don't have to drag a hose inside if you have some sort of clog and, and flush it out from the inside. You can do it from the outside. Down here we have our sewer uh, connections, easily labeled black and gray. Um, it's really, really nice not having to guess which one. We have our slide back over here, and I believe this has one slide, man? Yes, one slide, Ralph. One giant slide. Mm -hmm. um, as you see, you're going to get some large viewing windows right here. Um, so when you're at the lake, uh, at the campground, wherever you're going to be at, you're going to have a nice view of your surroundings. Um, you're also going to have um, the four-point cable technology for your slide. Um, it's kind of the newest, greatest thing on the campers. Uh, we don't have a lot of problems out of these slides. Um, so now real quick, this is a, a rear kitchen. Right. Um, because it's a rear kitchen, we have a secondary gray tank connection right down here, easily accessed, uh, comes in handy. So you don't have to worry about, I guess, uh, up an additional tank. That's correct, yes. This is a 50 amp coach with the cable connection back here, uh, hot water furnace right here. Full size spare on the back, guys. We hope you don't ever need the spare, but if you do, it's gonna be back here. You also have a hollow bumper. Good for storing your sewer uh, hose in there. Um, and we're also backup camera ready. Um, Look at that new graphic. That is it, it, that's like beautiful. I mean, if you, ha if you happen to have a white with blue truck craps, yeah, this is going to look really good going down the road. I agree. Um, but you can purchase that backup camera here at Camping World. Um, 
it's something we recommend you get. Um, I'm big on safety in these things, um, so I like to point all that stuff out. And it's really going to be a lot easier to back your camper in and out if you're able to see what's behind you. Now, Ben, if I remember correctly, I think I saw a grill. I actually the, showed them the grill and the quick and, connect. And this right here is where the grill mounts to, connecting right. over here, and you can swing it around normally. And you have a quick connect gas port down here. Oh, and we have an outside kitchen. Of yep. Sort. yep, with a mini fridge and a spot uh, for television. Yep, prep table. And then look at this cassette style furnace, wide tracks uh, suspension. This is really, really handy when you're going down the road. It's going to give you a better, smoother ride. It's going to give you better stability. Um, and, and when you go to back up or maneuver, um, this also allows you to turn better. Um, we do have our outside plug-in and our fresh potable water right there. Uh, we do have a screen door here and 25 mile hour wind resistant doors, outdoor marine grade speakers, and look at this giant awning right here. Isn't that awesome? This heavy duty step above uh, steps. Man, they really stepped up their game on the 2020. Oh, wow, look at this. Ben is sitting down on the job. Ben does it up so well as well. Guys, um, the first thing I think about when I come in here is uh, nice relaxation at the campsite. Um, you and your significant other or buddies or whoever it might be in here, chilled out at the lake, uh, waiting on the best time to go fish. Right, that's true. I mean, I love some fishing. Um, but you do have the armrest with the storage here for your remotes. Um, and you do have this couch. Now, that's not a jackknife couch there. That is going to be a full-size um, fold-out couch. Kind of like it's your grandma's One, house, I tell everybody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In about ten seconds, one person, maybe 15 seconds, uh, if it's one person, ten seconds, two yeah. people can set this up and no problem. I'm and look, six foot two, yep, with, maybe five with, with hair. hair. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So, and look how much room he has there. And this is like a memory foam type couch. It's super really, really comfortable. comfortable. And again, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So about 15 seconds set up and break down. Now and you can go back to sitting down. Now, while he's sitting down, I want to go ahead and point out we have a nice little backer here where you can mount your television. Um, our cameraman, we're trying to give him a little direction. He's yeah. new. We appreciate everything he does. So, uh, backer here for your television. Nice giant counter space for this. Uh, oh, man. Look at this. this How is, many this coffee pots do you think you could put on that, Ralph? Not enough. Not <laughs> enough. I love coffee if you don't know me. Look look at these drawers. They're, they are fully finished yep. all the way around. Uh, and then go to close them. They don't slam. And look at the storage in here. Isn't that awesome? Now, the neat thing about Mallards is they all have a built-in back system. This right here, they'll have the hoses underneath the bed. You can open that up, pop the system in there, turn that on after the bag is in there, and you can vacuum this coach out, uh, carpet and non-carpet. More drawers. And Ben, is it time? It's almost time, Ralph. First, okay. I was going to show them. Uh, you do have this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, foldable uh, backsplash for your uh, Fury and cooktop here. Mm -hmm. um, we do have, if you're into LED lights, it's the ultimate uh, stove right here. If you were to push this button, if we had power. Woo. Blue lights. Yep. Now this does have the electric spark ignition for it the does. stove and the yeah. oven. So, and then they really thought, I mean, space saving is something that you really got to think about a lot in campers. So if you notice, there's no lapse of counter space. They really, this, this backsplash folds down to where you've still got all of your counter space here. And, and that's precious in yep. go camping. Fully functioning vent hood to the outside. I tell people I don't even have that at my house. You open up the cabinets above my stove, it's just no pipe there going out. And then while he's doing that, getting his plate test ready, yes. I want to point out our gas electric Dometic uh, refrigerator freezer. Look how much storage you have in there, Ben. Big enough to put a pie plate. You could you put a to. plate in there, I bet. Yeah. And you notice, no tricks up his sleeve. This yeah. is a normal plate. I don't have sleeves. Yep. Normal plate. Normal size plate. No trickery. Yep. No. No. So, as you can see, I mean, guys, you would have room for an oversized plate in that cabinet. Um, I mean, as you see, it's probably about 18 inches deep, if I had to say. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you're going to be able to get pots, pans, food, peanut butter, whatever you might want to put in there. Now, you have your 70-30 uh, uh, sink here. 
composite material with the restaurant style stainless steel fixtures and flush mounted countertop uh, cutting boards. And again, more counter space. Uh, while we're looking at this, we do have our ground vault receptacle plug-ins top and bottom with a little area to store your spices and a great area to put some trash can and cleaning materials. Fuse box here, a little pantry right here, isn't that great? And then this modern fixture, uh, light fixture here that almost looks like it's got a candle. Chandelier type. Yeah, chandelier. And if you look here, we have our uh, day shades here. Now this table here can completely come out. You can take it outside, put it underneath your awning, or if you really wanted to, you could fold this thing. Well, it's not one of those foldable, but I was gonna say you, you can could fold it up. Yeah, you could fold it up mm -hmm. a little bit and do something and use it as a coffee table. You never know. This does turn into a bed. The, for time's sakes, we're just gonna give you a visualization of how it would work. This folds down, slides right here, and the two cushions go on top. There you go. Basically a large single. All, everything you wanted to know but was afraid to ask about this camper is right here inside this. That's right. We do have storage underneath here in both areas. Isn't that nice? And I then believe one, you can even access that from the top too usually, right? Yes. Fly one now, remote, so. now, Ben, if you'll notice, this coach has no vents in the floor. I have not seen any either, Rob. Yeah, we have the vents. We have dual ducted um, uh Ventilation for the AC. Mm -hmm. uh, All in the roof. Solid as a rock. And we still, believe it or not, Ben, we still got about an inch over here that we can go out. Yeah. So just about it. Uh, the, the heating vent comes out of the side, and we need to remember to touch base with somebody that didn't want any vents in the floor. That's right. So uh, again, more storage right here, guys. Um, all assisted lifts. So if you got a handful of stuff and you need to get some things in there, you're going to be able to do that, no problem. Uh, I bet Ralph's in the bathroom. I am sitting in here taking a shower. This is a large shower, if you notice. Uh, I'm six foot three with hair, I'm probably six seven. Uh, plenty of room, lots of elbow room here. Uh, built in shower door, nice little vanity here, ground fault receptacle, large uh, medicine cabinet. And then we have our display in here for uh, your gray tank, black tank, and everything here. But lots of storage for your tiles and so forth. And look at this lots of leg room. In, in here in the bathroom. More storage down here underneath. You can put a trash can if you wanted to or some washcloths. Um, let's see. I wonder where Ben is. He's probably laying down on the job, I bet. You think? You know he is. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm, I'm a full-size mammal here. Um, but you're going to be able to fit, you know, too comfortably in this queen-size bed. Um, you're also going to have spots here, 110 on either side of the bed for your CPAP machine or smart device to charge while you're sleeping at night. Um, you've got some good storage here on either side of the bed, and you also have some overhead storage here, and there's no uh, separation in that, so you can really fit a lot of stuff up there. Um, and got, Ben, right across from you, isn't there even more storage, like in front of you? In front of me here? No, 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 no. yes, right here. Oh, right. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that earlier. I did, too. I just hadn't got to it yeah. yet. But this right here would be where you would uh, mount your TV bracket, and then you've got a nice size closet in here, guys, which is... In a travel trailer of this size, lots of times, uh, closet space is not something that you get a whole lot of. Um, but as you can see, um, you have a closet rod already in there. So if you got some clothes to hang up, which usually most people do. All right. This so will be a great camera. If you'll turn around real quick, and yeah. we'll take a look at this. Look at all this room and storage underneath here. Uh, you can store lots of blankets, uh, even some chairs and so forth, or maybe that grill that's in the front cabinet. Mm -hmm. And then we do have this nice pocket door here for privacy. And again, this is dual ducted. It is a 50 yep. amp coach, so, so it's can. wired for the second, second AC. AC. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out here, it does have a built-in Furion uh, DVD player, CD player for the television, and where's that? Right here. You can buy the uh, uh, Wi-Fi adapter to get wireless um, Wi-Fi here. Wi <laughs> yeah. Wire, yep. yeah. So wireless internet is available for this coach with a, a special attachment. So that way when you go camping, the kids won't have a heart attack when they realize that the campground doesn't have Wi-Fi. Correct. So uh, I, I like to sit down yeah, and conclude. Let's sit down. Oh, it's been a long, stormy day here at Camping World of Jackson. It has. Um, so this is, I, I really like this new design. This, yep. this is new for This is uh, more counter space than I think in any other coach we have here. Uh, we've got two of these right now, so why they're still here, feel That's free right. to call Ben at 601-540-7672 or Ralph 601-497-7315. Hey. We'd like to thank you. Guys, we've been Ralph and Ben, the RV men, and we will check you guys out next time. Have a great day, folks. Bye. See you later.